Welcome guys to this video of how to make your own gunpla and how to do your own gunpla. This is one of the videos that I'm going to teach you how to do gunpla. Uh, what you need to do, what uh, what tools you need, uh, what basic tools you need, uh, what kind of uh, how uh, how you're gonna cut the runners, how you're gonna detail your own kit, how you're gonna you know reshape or paint uh, at using airbrush, uh, and so on and so forth. So as you guys know that I just gotten better, and uh, I just felt a little bit you know I've recovered from my sick, and I feel much better actually right now. So actually, I like you know. Without further ado, I, I don't want to stall any time, and I just want to you know just uh, do this video uh, with you guys for this gunpla uh, for this uh, gunpla uh, basic beginner uh, uh, to advance as well, just to show what kind of uh, skills that I have. But doesn't mean that my skills are totally correct. That it's much more uh, uh, better. Uh, Gampa builders out there that they know uh, what to do and uh, For me, I'm just showing what I know and uh, if you if you guys feel it's helpful uh, Go ahead and you know like this video right now uh, If you guys don't think it's helpful then just write in the comment section below Let me know uh, what is good and what is not good for you guys um, So as you guys know I'm in my room uh, right now, the first thing that I want to show that what is the kit that I'm going to be working on. I actually got this kit. Uh, I bought it, so it's still in the plastic bag. So this kit is, as you guys know, it's also from the Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. Uh, this is the Master Grid uh, Rizal. Master Gate Rizal. Uh, this kit, I'm gonna uh, do some spraying on it, uh, do some detailing on it, and I will still show you guys like step by step how I'm gonna do it. Uh, so this kit, once it's done, I'm just gonna do a giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna do a giveaway, and uh, I hope that I reach 200 subscribers. If you know this bad boy goes to you uh, usually I want hopefully I can get uh, 200 subscribers so I, I hope you guys share this video and subscribe as well uh, so you guys can win this prize um, this kit itself I can see that's a lot of uh, good articulation uh, uh, good movement uh, possibilities and uh, detailing wise it's still okay I guess it's just okay uh, but you know I'm very excited how to you know to uh, to build this kit because I pick it up uh, up from Gundam Toy Shop I bought this Gundam Toy Shop did not sponsor me uh, this uh, cost in Malaysia it's around 200 uh, ringgit uh, the price is around 4800 yen so it's a big price so guys if you guys really want to after that you know after the tutorial and everything you guys want to win this share this video and get some you know help me get a little bit subscribers and uh, for me subscribers are just like family like i said in my other videos as well so uh basically this is uh the Rizal uh gundam uh <laughs> this is not the Rizal gundam this is the so this is the Rizal the rgz Dash 95 Rizal, so it's a very decent mobile suit, I guess. It's a mass uh, ES EFSF mass pro, uh, produced transformable mobile suit, so still we call it under the mobile suit category. And this is original Bandai, so you guys can see I hold it up here, uh, right there, crystal clear. All right, so. Uh, I'm not too sure if we want to do a little bit of unboxing of this, uh, but I'll do it in the the tutorial videos as well. So this is one of the tutorial vi uh, videos. So ignore my messy table. Uh, what I have here, I just done doing my vape thing. So uh, getting well, getting there, getting better. Without further ado, let's proceed to the video of 
the first video how to build your own Gumpla. Uh, all the tutorials are in this video so uh, go ahead check it out uh, if you guys found this interesting then just you know continue play this video just sit back relax uh, and yeah just do this video uh, just watch this video itself so without further ado let's go to the main thing the how to uh, what kind of tools you need to get and the basic things so uh, yeah let's go right now guys without further ado so guys the first thing uh, it's not very essential I, I, I don't know how to say is it essential or is it not but usually I for me you need a workspace the first thing you need is you need a workspace to if you are getting into Gampla uh, model building kits or you go, uh, going for Gundam or either anything at all uh, you need a, a, a workspace so I created my own art, uh, art room in my house and uh, basically what we have here is uh, the first thing you need a space uh, if no matter where it is, uh, you can you can be anywhere at all. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, just to uh, just to have your uh, as long you get a little space to do what you need to do. Uh, if you need like airbrushing, you get an airbrush room, or you can do it outdoors. Now these days people spray are uh, using spray cans. Um, but for me, I think. Uh, I prefer a Gumpla room and a airbrush uh, uh, place as well. So uh, that's what is uh, for me. It's not a main uh, issue thing. So um, I'm gonna show you around uh, the first thing that you need the space. So um, before I do that, uh, I just want to announce uh, one thing that I'm doing a giveaway for this Gundam Honor. Uh, HG kit uh, it's a very decent kit just uh, have to be my subscriber and I'll just give you away this this is a very rare kit uh, kind of like it a lot so that is that so I'm gonna show you around my room of this art room and uh, hope you guys enjoy and like it a lot so I'm gonna bring you guys for a tour now uh, this is the door where you can come in. Uh, this is my art room uh, to, where you can uh, uh, have a little bit space on what you want to do. Uh, let me show you the front part. So what I get is uh, you know a basic uh, cutting mat. You know uh, this I will just say in. Uh, I'll say in the, I, will, I will talk more about it in a minute so this is the space usually I need it for uh, all the things my paint all there so I, will, I, I won't show everything for this uh, room tour but you for me this is a sufficient space for me what I want to do for my art room uh, for my model kit uh, uh, hobbies so let's break down on what basic things you need first you need uh, cutting mat uh, so you do not cut on the expensive table even though how many times I do it but still a habit is a habit uh, try to not do this and instead of doing this uh, why on uh, why uh, cut, uh, cut a mat is because when you detail do detailing to your model kit if you're cutting power plates or anything you need a uh, to uh, you know to use a hobby knife to cut through uh, your shape and design so definitely need a cutting mat the second thing you need is a pair of nippers uh, some people call it cutters uh, that's the two uh, three main essential things that you need uh, if you're just going to do a straight build uh, cutters is just fine or you want to do slightly just a straight build but uh, without knobs you can uh, use these two tools uh, with this cutter mat uh, it's good enough uh, basically it's just very very good enough so yeah that's what I really recommend uh, 
the the other things like example I did do one of my videos uh, how to remove knobs uh, using uh, sanding sticks they got the medium type uh, the rough and the super fine uh, usually I just go with the rough the medium and then the super fine so uh, there's many different ways to do how you want to remove knobs but we'll get on that later so uh, other than that what do you need um, you need a Gundam marker uh, to do detailing work like panel lining uh, if you're doing Gundam you know there's a lot of uh, panel line that needs to be drawn uh, to make the Gundam uh, look more realistic so uh, it's very essential uh, I mean, it depends on you. If you don't want it, you can do so. But if you want it, um, it's still, it's still, it's still a good thing to have. Um, uh, if let's say you want to go more detail uh, into uh, uh, the model kit itself, uh, you can have a pair. Of, you can have one brush uh, to add uh, different colors with a, a different paint. Maybe you need to purchase paint as well. Uh, but we'll get more on that later, uh, of course. And uh, usually, what I need is a, a sanding block, a sanding stick, uh, and you need uh, sandpaper as well. I have sandpaper uh, with me. Usually, I'll just uh, yep. Um, like I said, the other thing you need is uh, sandpaper. Um, this is one of the sandpaper uh, like if the surface is round you can just sand it off using sandpaper um, and usually if you want to do more detailing you can uh, just get a normal uh, screw uh, what do you call it a driller you can have a driller uh, I used to I, I love these tools to usually do my detailing work uh, if you guys can see, there's my Gushin. Uh I know the cannon is fallen off. I need to glue that back. Um, basically, the tools you need, uh, if you want to go further, you can, uh, you know, like want to add different different parts. You can glue them as well. So you need this as well. So we are gonna go on what kit we are gonna work on, and yeah, we're gonna go uh, step by step. Uh, which one? It's. Uh, is needed the most so yeah